So now we can look at the next company, Page Industries. Okay, which is from uh, the textiles. Ha, yeah, which is a textile company. Yeah. So uh, again, quick snapshot. This time I put the five-year picture. Okay. Uh, uh, of course, three are projected, two are past. Just I mean, we could have put 16, 17, 18 also, but it's just this is enough right. to right. show what is going. Yeah. So you can see basically that between FI20 and FI21, not much change in revenue for Page. Yeah. Uh, EBITDA margin also has not changed much. Mm. So they have not been impacted that much by mm. COVID. Mm. Of course, we can look at the quarterly picture. Mm. And going forward, the EBITDA margin is uh, going to slightly improve. Mm. But the revenue you see here mm. from 28,000 to 37 to 44 to 51. Mm. That's a very, increase in yeah, very right. interesting projection that they have projection, made. Projection, yeah. 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 And it's historical trend. If you look, it's like this, yeah. only, this kind of growth rate. Okay. And uh, their price, the PAT, uh, adjusted PAT, yeah. is, uh, and we'll see the margin in a, in shortly. Yeah. But uh, adjusted PAT also basically is growing, increasing. Okay. So, right. profit, the revenue. profit after tax is growing. Yeah. Profit after tax is also growing. Yeah. And look at the return on equity for this company. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, re return on capital employed is slightly less because uh -huh. they have some debt, but more or less in this line with this. Okay. So, we are, there it was 10%. Here we see what it is, 40 going up to 50, 56 percent. Yeah, that's, that's phenomenal. 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 Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. Right. Which is why also they get the valuations are price earning multiples, you can see basically. Very high. Very high. Yeah. Very high. Yeah. Yeah. In okay. the case of Ultratech also it was high, but that was because the profits were depressed. Okay. Margins were depressed. People expect the margins to go up by 10, 15 percent. Right. Right. Whereas here it is high because people expect growth to be high. Yeah. But right. this has been very, very interesting because the… Um, ROE is fairly high in this ROE, case. ROE is just on equity. On equity. Yeah. 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 Very high. Very okay. High. Yeah. Okay. Very high. Which equity investors will be very happy with. This. Very happy with this. Yeah. 40, 50 percent is fantastic. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. So, some again, some yeah. key parameters. Yeah. So, you can see sales basically. This is the uh, uh, you know, growth rate. Yeah. So, you can see basically that uh, the heavy growth rate is. Yes. This is again quarter to corresponding quarter of the previous yes. year. Yes. But this is primarily because of, uh, you know, COVID related thing. Right. But secular trend, if you look at the growth rate, they have been growing 15% to 20% annually. Okay. Steadily. Okay. And EBITDA, again, if you look, uh, this has been traditionally in the 20 odd percent yeah. range. Yeah. Of course, in Q4, Q, this, this no, quarter is COVID quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Here you see they have not managed the variable cost. Mm -hmm. It went to negative. Yeah. EBITDA. Yeah. Unlike ultra tech. Okay. They have not been able to okay. manage primarily because. I guess it's a very labor intensive. Labor industry. intensive, yeah. They were not able to, I mean, you cannot ask labor to go and all yeah. that. So they were paying their labor mm. uh, and all that, and mm. government was not sufficiently taking care of labor costs, mm. like they did in the US and yeah. other places. So here the companies had to bear it. Okay. So that is it. Yeah. Uh, but gross margins have been very high. Gross margins have been very high, yeah. yeah. So here again, you can see the, uh, you know, the margins. Yeah. So. Yeah, again, a total operative income, then raw material cost, employee ah, cost, cost, and yeah. yeah. So, here also you have raw material cost, which is very high because they have to buy yeah. uh, material, materials, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, woven materials, yeah. yeah. Uh, knitted cotton and other yeah. stuff they have to buy. Yeah. And employee expenses are also very, very high. Yeah. yeah. And there are other expenses, mostly logistics and things right. like that will be there, right. transportation and right. all that will be there. Right. But their um, uh, interest is also quite high. Interest is also reasonably high. Yeah. Uh, as a percentage of sales, it is not that high, okay. but it is 1% or something. Okay. Right. But it is there, yeah. Interest okay. cost is there. Okay. You'll see when you come to balance yeah. sheet, maybe we can see it. So, the, so, you can see basically that this company has about 1,264 crores in, okay, let's do the FY21, 120 actual, right? Yeah. So, 819 crores of uh, equity capital. Yeah. And uh, debt is 147 crores of debt. That's, that's, that's quite low. Very low. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, this is liability actually. Debt is only 26 crores. That's all. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, so, so their major mode of financing is through equity. the equity route, not through equity the debt route. route. And also because it's a highly valued company. Yeah. They can always raise money in equity. Yeah. It will Investors are willing to, willing to put, invest. put their money, money into, into this. this yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. What else? There is this capital work in progress line which is there. Yeah. 
Maybe we yeah, can and, see the and, interest and, costs in this. Yeah. Interest costs, uh, yeah, we saw that. It's very yes. small. It's yes. 1% or something. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and there is a slight kind of a, of a interesting uh, entry here on inventories. No? Ah, that is true. Yes. Yeah. 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 And I think that is because of the nature of the commodity that they are producing. They would like to stock some inventories and release it when there is a variation in demand. The into other the thing market. is that we will see it later when we do the FMCG case, uh. Uh, the you know e-commerce e case. Uh. Is that in this uh, in textiles especially? You have winter and you have summer and you have this oh, yes. autumn season, yes. winter season, yes. all that. Seasonal, you have yeah. four seasons. In yeah. India, we have two. Yeah. So, you have summer, uh, spring and autumn, yeah. winter, yeah. two seasons. Yeah. And if you have sweaters, for example, that you made for winter, summer, right. winter, autumn, yeah, right. you can't sell them in summer. Yeah. So then you, you have to keep it, hold it. Hold next. it to, till the next season next, comes. Next season comes. Yeah. yeah. So, there will be always yeah. limited. Yeah. Uh, and by the, by the next season, if the fashion changes, then perhaps <laughs> the inventory it has is, to be yeah, sold at a discount. risk of this. They will, yeah. dispense, they will dispose of it by discounting, yeah. right? Huge discounting. That is what we see at uh, 30 percent uh, discount, business, 50 percent. The model on, in, in textiles also is that uh, they, they, the retail stores mm. or you know e-commerce stores, mm. they don't buy the textiles. Okay. So the, the companies like Page Industries will have to place their stock there in the retail outfit. When okay. the retail sells it only, they will pay the money. And all the unsold, they unsold will take it they back it and back. they'll That's refresh the it with new yeah. Yeah. models. Okay. So that basically means that their inventory may be actually sitting in the yes. retail stores. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so again, cash flow, you can see basically that uh, operating expense, operating expense, generating tons of cash. Okay. 500 crores yeah, cash. Yeah. Very good cash. Yeah. And uh, they're putting it back in uh, financing. Okay. So, putting it into financing. Yeah. And they have a reasonably healthy closing cash balance. Okay. So, th they, they are flowing back so that uh, the debt component is less. Debt component is less. So, they, all their growth and all is being financed. Working capital growth. Okay. Inventory, everything is being financed. Yeah. Entirely from what is called internal accruals. Right. Which means whatever cash you're generating from operating uh -huh. business, uh -huh. that is being used for Further investment. Further investments yeah. and expansion of the firm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So again, here we can see the ratios. This is set of ratios that we So discussed. you can see uh, first let's look at the margin, right? So here the fat margin is you know 11, 12 percent. Yeah. And expected to be 14, 15 percent. So it's not like they have a great PAT margin. It's like okay. a little bit more than ultra tech. Yeah. But we saw the ROC numbers. Yeah. Why? Because capital is low. Yeah. Ultratech has high capital. Okay. So, even though they were producing 10% margin, yeah. because the capital is very high, yeah. the ROC is only 10%. Here, okay. the capital is much less. That's why the ROC goes to 40%. Okay. So, one-fourth the capital they are employing yeah. to produce the same profit. Yeah. So, can we draw this inference that in Ultratech's case, the investments in fixed capital is very high. Very high. And a part of that could be sunk costs or Correct. whatever, sunk capital. Yeah. Whereas in the case of textiles industries, hmm. the uh, investment in fixed capital is less. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so again, one can try and do, uh, and here the debtor days is even lesser. Oh. Uh, oh because yes. the invoice will late. That is why. Okay. I mean, as I said, only yeah. when it's sold. So from that point onwards, when you invoice, you immediately get paid. Till okay. then, your stock is sitting there. Yeah. Yes. But as you point out, inventory days are quite. Inventory high. days are very high. Yeah. Inventory days are close very to high. three months. Three months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Data days. Yeah. yeah. And the same kind of a format: some uh, general ratios, operating ratios, return ratios, valuation ratios, and solvency ratios. So solvency, you can see debt by beta is so small. Yeah. And current and ratio, you can calculate this too. Yeah. It's almost two. That is again. And that's. I've done that. That's Definitely. phenomenal. Phenomenally good. Very, very solid. Okay. Very solid. Okay. No risk. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think then then students should just, you know, play around with this data and yeah. then yeah. use different firms and see how they perform. Correct, from, correct. Yeah. They should do their own form. Okay. If they're going to give them an assignment, yeah. Yeah. they'll do their own, own company, they'll have to. Right. right. 